<laughs> G'day guys, Alex here, Melbourne, Australia. That was a bit of Roy Rogers, um, Look Over Yonder's Wall song. I, I love Roy, Roy Rogers, um, good slide guitarist, oh yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, this is a special video for me. Um, I'm... Okay, I just got back from Bali a few days ago, had a bit of a vacation, get away quickly, quietly, and chill out. Now, why this is a special video is, I spoiled myself, I treated myself a little bit, and whilst I was in Bali, I went to a coffee plantation, and I purchased some Kopi Luwak. Kopi is coffee, I guess, in Balinese. So it's, they get a civet cat, hence the packet. They get a civet cat and they feed it um, the coffee beans. So the, the coffee, the whole coffee thing, and it eats it and it poos out the beans. I know it sounds disgusting, but um, they do the same sort of thing in Thailand and various other countries. And they grab the beans, they wash it, then they, um, uh, what do you call it? They roast it, and then sell it as either beans or ground up. Now, apparently, it's the most expensive and most exotic coffee in the world. So, I had some whilst I was there for the very first time. I've never had it before. Spectacular. Now, I made myself a brew. I like it. Very good. Um, I only bought a small pack because it is quite expensive. Um... This little pack was 10, 10 bucks, it's not bad. I don't, it's 100 grams. So if you wanted to buy a 500 grammer, that was, that was um, just, just short of $100 Australian. So I don't know why this one's cheaper, but it is genuine Luwak coffee. Now I've taken out the coffee, um, <coughs> it's in the kitchen. So this is just the packet. I don't know, I just thought I felt something rattling in there. Oh no, it's just cardboard. All right, cool. So, having some Luwak coffee. Oh yeah. Now apparently it sells for like $30 a, a cup or, or more here in Australia. I've never seen it, but we've heard about it. So, it is spectacular. Don't ask for flavours and what do I taste. Um, to me it's coffee, it tastes nice. I don't get unicorn farts and all that sort of shit. So, and to top to uh, complement it, hmm, motherfucker went out. Anyway, excuse the language. Sorry, guys, ladies. Smoking this little cigar now. Uh, <clears throat> I was at duty free at uh, Bali Airport. About to come home. Um, I was about to head home, so I went through went through customs and all that shit. So went to the duty free store, bought myself one of these little Kahiba Club Twenty um, cigars. So actual actual little, little mini Kahibas. <laughs> now I'm not a big cigar man. I do enjoy cigar. They just Hard to get here and horrendously expensive and quite often custom finds it and you're hit by massive taxes when you try to bring them in. But I've got these in, legitimately of course. <clears throat> you know, so I didn't exceed the limit, what you allowed. And I've only had a Kahiba once before, that was a Siglo one, courtesy of Chris. Be beers, bikes and pipes. So he gave me a Siglo one about a year ago, and that was spectacular. So I bought a packet of these. There's 20 in the pack. Um, this is my, smoking my second one. <laughs> um, I don't need a humidor, because I don't think they're gonna last that long. <laughs> Plus it's winter here, so it's not too bad. It's not gonna dry out, like in the summertime. Yeah, the beard's coming along good. First time in my, in my life I've had a beard. 
I used to have a goatee on and off. I think the longest I got was down to my chest, a goatee, but so that's years ago. So I've never had a beard. Uh, it's getting there. Yep, getting there. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone had a great Easter. I mean, what a combination. A Cuban cigar. I know it's a small one, but I don't want them big fat ones that take 10 hours to smoke. I don't like that. Excuse me. So, a cigar. Exotic Luwak coffee. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. <clears throat> I'll just show you guys something. My, my brother's my brother's girlfriend asked me to make her a bowl. I've been doing a bit of wood turning. I like that. Really like that. This is out, made out of pine. And still got the pith in it. Now normally don't try to use the pith because um, it could crack. That's this. I don't know how you describe it. It's meant to be the centre of the tree, but the pith could be off-centre. Normally they cut, and I, I guess if I kept turning it, and I, I couldn't keep turning it to take the pith out because the pith, I probably could have, but anyway. I oh, know I couldn't because it ran all the way through. That's right. It runs from end to end. So anyway, that's the bowl I made for my brother's missus. Had a crack in the wood. Not my doing. It just had it. So I glued that and put a filler in there, uh, sawdust. So, anyway, I'm learning, getting better. Quite a lot of guidance from my good friend, Glenn. Uh, Drop Bear Woodworks, Pipe Nutter. So, yeah, quite happy with that. I think it's beautiful. So I made that for my brother's missus. So, yeah, I'm doing well. Uh, I haven't made too many videos of late, but, yeah, everything's good. It's back at work and, you know, the usual crap. So... Yeah, I thought I'd share with you guys uh, a special treat for me. It really is. Cahiba cigar and Luwak coffee. Oh, yeah. So if you're ever down Bali Way or somewhere in Asia, I'm sure you can get it elsewhere. All right, not going to make this too long. I tend to waffle. <clears throat> Thanks to all my new subscribers. Thank you, everyone, for all the kind words and good comments. I really appreciate that. I really do. And uh, congratulations, Mark, on your uh, 208 plus subs. Okay. Uh, doing well there, brother. And um, to all the lurkers out there, make some videos, guys. Introduce yourselves, make a video. We don't bite. Um, more the merrier. So it's a good way to meet people and make, make, make good friendships. All right. Take care. Peace.